So good morning everybody, um, I'm Matt Adam Watts, um, for just on my morning ward round uh, and I thought we'd talk about this case, I've done the chickens, they're done, and now I'm off to do the rest of the menagerie. Um, so the case that I uh, shared with you before the webinar was an elbow fracture dislocation um, in a, a young individual a high energy injury and um, the you can see on the x-rays that there's a fracture of the radial head which looks like a, a segmental partial articular fracture uh, and a fracture of the coronoid process in a lot of people's minds they think of that as a as a terrible triad injury because you've got the, the association of radial head fracture, coronoid fracture, it must be a terrible triad. But uh, if you look closely at the x-rays you can see in the CT scan, you can see that actually the coronoid fracture is a bifacet fracture of the coronoid. And uh, that make, means that it can't be a terrible triad. A terrible triad is a valgus external rotation injury and the anteromedial facet moves away from the distal humerus as the arm goes into valgus and the uh, uh, and you fracture the radial head and you fracture the anterolateral facet the anterolateral facet uh, in itself um, it can't be fractured in isolation because it's protected by the radial head and that's why in the Wrightington classification we have a type C injury which is an anterolateral facet fracture with a radial head fracture in combination because you can't have the isolated anterolateral facet. The fracture that you've seen is actually what we would classify as a B plus injury. So I'm just a bit distracted there because we've got uh, Patrick who's just joined us. Patrick peas the pigeon he uh, he's a, a rescue pigeon that we found in one of the hedges and had to rear from a chick but now he likes to get involved in the morning ward round the greedy one the b plus injury is different is is very different from a from a type c the pattern of ligamentous injury is completely different and therefore the management is different. So it's really important to recognise these bifacet uh, coronary fractures with an associated radial head. The segment of the radial head that's damaged is actually different uh, to the typical terrible triad injury. The, 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 the part of the radial head that's fractured is the anterior half of the radial head in this B plus injury. And that's because the forearm is in supination at the time of uh, dislocation. And the whole forearm is pushed directly posterior. That takes off the anterior part of the radial head and it takes off both facets of the coronoid process. The inference of that is that the, as the uh, arm comes into, so uh, anyway, that's, that's the goat's fed. Um, as uh, the arm comes into, um, it comes proximally, the, it has an effect on the ligaments, which is, to, which is to shorten them. So rather than ending up with a lateral ligament uh, complex avulsion injury, which you would get with a terrible triad injury, the lateral ligament complex is often intact. The posterior lateral ligament may be torn because the forearm has moved proximally, um, the horses are now getting fed up with me talking. Um, so this is Charlie. Say hello, Charlie. And this is Pip, Charlie's mum. Say hello. Um, the uh, the, the anterior band of the medial ligament, likewise, is likely to be intact because essentially they've shortened during the injury. Charlie, take that. Um, and so uh, it's a very different in, um, uh, ligamentous injury pattern and the reconstruction is different. In a terrible triad at Wrightington C, we would uh, f fix the radial head, largely ignore the coronoid process and fix the lateral ligament complex. And if necessary, we would go and if it was still unstable, we'd fix the medial ligament. 
It's actually on the medial side, it's not so much the ligament that's important, but it's the common flexor origin. So when you've got gross valgus uh, instability with a terrible triad, a Wrightington type C, um, the problem is that the common flexor pronator origin has been avulsed. So it's when you're fixing the, the medial ligament, you also fix the, uh, the common uh, uh, flexor origin. In a Wrightington B+, plus, by facet coronoid uh, segmental fracture of the radial head, you need to fix or replace the radial head and fix the coronoid. It's really important in that situation to fix the coronoid. Um, now, if it's a sig large single segment, uh, then you can fix that from uh, the lateral side using a, a Kaplan approach. You can get over the top of the radial head um, and fix, uh, fix with a, a screw from the dorsum of the ulna aimed proximally. And the best way to do that is to flip the, uh, the coronary fracture distally, bring your guide wire in through the base of the fracture exactly where you want it, back the wire back, put your coronoid piece back into position using the front of the humerus as your guide to where it should be, making sure the elbow is reduced when you do that, then advance your, your guide wire into the fragment. Yeah, you can put two wires in if you want and then put a, a headless screw or a um, cannulator screw over the top of that. That screw should be oriented from distal to proximal. Um, if, uh, you, if it's a multifragmentary fracture, um, then you probably want to use a buttress plate. Certainly, uh, if there's involvement of the uh, sublime tubercle, I would use a buttress plate, and then you need to approach that from the medial side. But the important thing is, the anterior band of the medial ligament, the lateral ligament complex, may well be intact, unless the whole forearm has travelled a long way uh, uh, posteriorly uh, then uh, then they may be sheared off as well but the posterior band of the medial ligament the posterior lateral ligament uh, um, will be avulsed from the posterior capitellum and those might need to be fixed so when is a terrible triad not a terrible triad it's when the me anteromedial facet is involved that's a Wrightington B plus injury and um, uh, the, in, the management mechanism of injury is different and the management is different. Thanks very much for, for listening. I'll leave you with uh, the horses and the goats. And that's my ward round finished. Thank you.